The Thialbo TV bench has this rustic look to it, as most of the components are comprised of this metal mesh and solid wood design. The wood used for this TV bench is pine, and if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that pine is a soft wood. Pine can dent pretty easily, but in this case, I wouldn't be too worried as you don't really physically interact with this type of furniture throughout your day. By that I mean you're not moving things around like you would with coffee tables or desks. The only thing you should look out for is when you're placing things inside on the higher level of the storage compartment. But as we look at the top of this bench, you can clearly see that there's enough space depth-wise and width-wise for my TV. I had some extra space on the sides, so TVs greater than 49 inches should fit. I would say that this bench can fit TVs that are 65 inches or lower. It just really depends if your stand will fit depth-wise. But if you want to see if your TV will fit, the width of this bench is 58 and 3 quarter inches and the depth is 14 inches. If you have a smaller TV though, and think that this bench is a bit too wide, IKEA also has the exact same design but in a more compact version. Some other important features I noticed with this TV stand is that it's pretty stable. This has to do with the adjustable legs, so if your floors are uneven, this will come in handy. Another unique feature of this TV bench is that the doors come with magnets. I found that the doors open and close pretty smoothly, and the magnets hold the doors pretty well in place. And as you can see, this TV unit doesn't come with the closed backing, so your wires will be exposed. IKEA provides you with these clips to manage wire clutter, but for thin wires, you might want to look for some other solution if you're a person that cares about organization. This TV stand also comes with a good amount of storage. You get two levels where you can either put your electronics that pertain to your setup, or any other additional items that will be used occasionally, like candles or napkins. The metal mesh design makes things very transparent in regards to what you're storing in the TV bench. But one cool thing about this is that you don't have to worry about the signal being blocked from your remote to your TV box. This allows you to utilize the storage space with your electronic equipment instead of just leaving everything on top so the signal can reach. Every setup of media equipment is different, so if you want to see if yours will fit, the height of the top shelf is 6 and 3 quarter inches, and the height of the bottom shelf is 7 and a quarter inches. Assembling this TV unit should take you around 45 minutes to an hour to finish, and if you're interested in purchasing this unit, I do have a tutorial on how to assemble this TV bench just to make things easier for you. You also shouldn't have a problem in transporting the package in a small car as long as the back seats are down, as the measurements of the package are 59 and 3 quarter inches in length, 16 and a quarter inches in width, and 5 and a half inches in height. Right now, you can purchase the Fiabo TV Bench for $159 Canadian or $149 American. Personally, I really like the rustic style of this TV Bench and didn't really see any problems with it. It may not be everyone's style, but if your living space has a simple theme, this could be a good addition to that area. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.